have you back. And we are now beginning with the Yumta Davening. We're doing the Yumta Davening for chakras, and then we'll probably get to most of it as well. Now, uh, let me just lay out an important Yumta Davening principle that I think we mentioned previously, and that is that people are more relaxed on Yumta than they are in Yumta Davening. So uh, you are in a very good position. If you're looking to give people a beautiful Davening, you have a wonderful opportunity. Uh, and you know, where you might ask yourself, how, for example, on Rosh Chodesh, or even on Shabbos, how much can I sing on Yontif? You almost have a carte blanche to make it a very beautiful and soulful experience. That said, let's begin with Akel. If you're in the Art Scroll Sitter following along, it would be 402. And that's something that's very important to know with Akel is that it goes very, very high. So you want to make sure that you start at a key, which will still allow you to hit the high notes. And you'll see, uh, as I get to the high parts, this is uh, a very common rookie mistake with Mikhail, is that people start at their more typical voice level or voice tone, and then when they hit the high notes, it's just like watching a train wreck, and it's painful. So don't let yourself go through it, don't let them go through it, and, uh, and start low if you need to. <laughs> So we pause briefly, we allow the Tzibor to say B'fi Yisharim, or B'divri, and so on, and then we continue as we go to Shabbos. B'fi Yisharim Tisavol, B'divri, Tzadikim, Tisparam, B'vishoy, Chasim, Tisrimah, B'vikarim, B'lajim, Tishkadosh. And then uh, we are going to continue uh, as if it was Shabbos, um, and uh, I'm just going to point out something with the Hakol uh, Yoducha, which is added on Shabbos as opposed to Hameir. But otherwise, I'll just go through it quickly. Um, it would be as we would on any Shabbos or Shabbos during our Saras Uh I'm sorry, yeah, the Shir Hamalos is only going to be during Saras Meitshuvah, which is not going to want Pinyan, so you're fine with that. Uh, okay, so. Uh, Makaloi, Shimavai, Samachabes, Israel, Shekhe, Hoi, Bah, 
So I'm just giving people the heads up in the event that they weren't prepared. And, you know, sometimes it happens, especially after the Seder, people are all played, four cups of wine, a little hungover. They can very easily just cruise into what they're accustomed to doing every Shabbos and say, you might need to remind them to say, Hamer. Okay, you're going to do Kel Adon if it's uh, a Shabbos Yom Tov, but if it's uh, just Yom Tov, obviously, you know, you're not doing that, you would continue with Tisbara. Uh, what I like to do on a Yom Tov where the Yom Tov falls out on Shabbos is a Kel Adon that's associated with the Yom Tov. So again, even though it's Yom Tov, but it's a Kel Adon that gives you the flavor of the Yom Tov. So uh, let's say, for example, on Sukkis, I might do something with Bisamatha. And so on and so forth. Uh, on Pesach, I might do something like uh, the Tzitzit Shroman. And so on and so forth. Um, and then, you know, for Shuas, uh, if it so happens that Shuas falls out, um, go for whatever you want besides the Shuas in the morning. Nobody's listening, everybody's half asleep. I'll, I'll tell you like, just a, a, a little joke, as they say, the Derek Sakhas, to grease the wheels. Uh, as you may know, we, uh, we lay in the Hat Torah. It talks about 
the Maisa Merkava on Shavuos morning. Right, the Maisa Merkava is the description by the Navi of HaKadosh Baruch Hu's Kaviyachol heavenly throne, which is sort of wild and malachim that have, you know, six wings and, and this uh, Mara Ke'in Chashmal, which if we translate Mara Hebrew as electricity, I mean, the, the kind of stuff that we clearly don't really understand what it is that, you know, God's heavenly throne looks like. So you ask yourself, why is it that we land this on Shavuos? Now, there are substantive reasons, but the other reason is everybody's sleeping anyways. <laughs> don't worry about it. It's not going to lead to any kfira <laughs> and everybody's snoring. It's fine if there's a hot you can get away with it on. It's, uh, <laughs> uh, it. Now, you should know, I actually tried to experiment on this once, and I turned around during the landing of the hot Torah, and you would be surprised how many people are actually sleeping during the landing of the hot Torah on Shavuos. Okay, they uh, clearly are not, uh, they're not college students. Uh, you know, they, they're sort of accustomed to uh, just going through the night, and, you know, going to waking up at, at noon or one or whatever. Okay, uh, so that is Keladon, uh, moving on to Tisbara. Now, what you're going to be doing for Shabbos chakras, and I'm sorry to disappoint, uh, but we've already done this uh, Shabbos. So the, the uh, chakras for Yom Tif is identical to the chakras for Shabbos until you get up to... Uh, uh, now, as we mentioned over there, you would want to get a sense before you begin with Tilos Lekelelium as to what kind of a shul you're dialing in because it's very common for people to use sort of the quote unquote young Yisrael stuff for So, if, no matter what you're doing, whether you're doing sort of the yeshiva shav, and so on and so forth, you're going to want to launch in to the nigan for uh, yamtiv in the middle of Tzor Yisra. So uh, where I typically do it is Gaya um, um, and uh, let, me, let me describe what that would sound like first in the yeshiva and then I'll do the Surya Yang Israel stuff. Surya Israel! Okay, that's Ozzy. Let me make it more simple. Surya Israel, Kuhuma Bezras Israel, Utehim Echaidav Israel, Goyaleinu Adinoi Tzavai Shavai Kedosh Israel, Baruch Atav Eidoi, Goal Yisroel. And that would be how you do it if you're doing the yeshiva. The, the uh, young Israel, let's go back a bit. Outrageous things, say them with outrageous confidence. So yeah, he says these like 
things that would literally sound unhinged if they came from anybody else, and yet he like gets away with them. I mean, again, it's the, the way in which he says them with such confidence and aplomb, it, and people just swallow it. So uh, a lot of that has to do with how you daven as well. If you can uh, daven with confidence, people will assume that you know what you're doing, and they'll follow you. So if you do your Tzuri Yisrael, and you do it with strength and confidence, people will get, oh, okay, this guy knows where he's going, and they'll follow your lead. Okay, so with that, you uh, said, have said Ga'al Yisrael, and now you're going to begin with the uh, Yom Tov Shemana Esrei. Okay, so we'll turn to page 6. 60. 660, is it? Uh, yes, 660, where we have the Shemana Esrei for Shalosh Yisrael. All right. Um, now, once again, when you begin the Shemana Esrei for Shalosh Yisrael, you are going to begin with a um, uh, Shabbos Nizam. So it's going to sound pretty much identical to Shabbos. And in Kedusha, once again, what I do is I try to use tunes that are associated with the Yom Tov. So uh, let's begin, and I'll, I'll do this because it's not that long. But we begin Baruch. Oh, and again, I think our custom here in this class is to bow as if I was actually in front of the Yom Tov. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Eloseinu Elohei Avraham Elohei Yitzchak Elohei Yaakov Ha'el Agadol Gibor Manara Eloyon Gamel Chasadim Tovim Konei Yaakov Vizokher Chasdei Avos Mibi Goel Livnei Bnei Ham Lamach Mobi Yaakavu Melech Ozer Moshiach Mogen Baruch Atah let me pause here and let me remind you. It is on Yom Tif that we make the switch from saying Masha Prabhuach to not saying and from not saying to saying. Now this uh, brings up a few important points. First, you want to make sure you know when it's done. Um, so uh, we switch Musaf of the first days of Pesach and we switch Musaf in the last days of Sukkot. So just make sure when you get up there, whether it's for Shafras or Musaf, that you know which schedule we're on and what you're doing. And you know, uh, also there are, um, there is some, with Musaf, the Silent Shemesh Ray, uh, you should also just like, check the Halakos again, because sometimes in the Silent Shemesh uh, in the Silent Shemesh Ray Musaf, we don't, we either don't or do, depending on what we're gonna be moving into. So just, be aware of that and make sure to do that accordingly. I think actually um, it is mm, right. So the sound to Manasseh on the first day of Pesach we don't, um, but the um, and, and uh, as well as Shmini Atzeres and Simchas Torah. I'm sorry. No, again. Uh, silent to Manasseh on the first day of Pesach uh, we don't because it's only in Chazar Sashat when we do the Tefilas Tal and then we stop saying it. So uh, we've already gone, uh, we, we on the sound semester, we're maintaining the old custom, right? And it's only after we've done Tefilas Tal, when we say Mincha that day, that we'll go on to uh, t uh, not saying Mashavarach and Nagashim. So if you are davening Shachlis on the first day, you would not say Mashavarach and Nagashim. If you were davening Mincha on the first day of Pesach, you would say Mashavarach and Nagashim. Um, when it comes to Shemini uh, Atzeres and Simchas Torah, you would say Mashiv uh, Rokh Mordei Geshem. I'm sorry? Wait, if it's Pesach that we stop saying... It's Pesach that we stop, yes. Yeah, so uh, it's the, the last days that we begin. So, I'm sorry, sorry. So uh, it's the last days that we begin, but we begin even before we say the Tfilos Geshem, uh, Geshem, right? So Tfilos Geshem... Geshem is, is in the fall, not in the... Not in the not right, in right. So in the fall, so... In, uh, and so Sukkos, when, when we would have this issue about not exactly, saying. exactly, exactly. Yeah, so just you know, be aware of it. Um, and uh, I believe, right, Phil Skechem is going to be uh, on Shmini Atzeres, right? Something. Like um, yeah. So yeah, Shmini Atzeres, right, right. Uh, but even so, again, even though we do Phil Skechem uh, during the repetition of most of monastery, but we already begin saying. Uh, um, on the most of the of Shemini Does that make sense? Okay, I just I want to make sure everybody's listening to this. Or the rules are in the back of the 
That's cool. Yeah, yeah, and you can always find, right? Make sure to have a, a SID that gives you, gives you the pointers. Uh, you, yeah, I'll tell you, I personally, although I, I've learned these a lot and so on, um, if my strength is not remembering these little details. I think I mentioned this before, so I try to keep it as just for a little off close by. And that's how I always like remind myself, oh, okay, that's what we're doing. So certainly if, if you have that kind of personality like me, uh, you know, where you, your memory has, you know, great ability to remember certain things and a unique ability to totally forget certain things. Mm -hmm. Before you get up there, just quickly check the little blue off and be in good shape. Uh, the other thing to be aware of, and this is something I mentioned when we were doing maybe Shabbat Shabbat, is some Kehilos do Lord at all. So in Eretz Yisrael, even a Nusach Ashkenaz congregation will do Masha Barak Lord at all. And in the United States, in the Arts, congregations that dot in Nusach Spar will say Lord at all. So you just want to be aware of what you're doing. Okay. I tell you, bro, I love it. I can't smell the Ravloshia. And because we're not in the Bachelor of Rockmore, I guess, from season, I'll leave it out. Michal Kel Fayim, the Fesed, Mehem is in Rahamim, Rabim Sameh, No Fleem, Rofe, Holim, Umatir Asurim, who came in Bona Soli, Shea for me, Hobo, Hobo, give a rose, who me, Domalak, Melech, Mimi, Smuchaya, Umat, we have to show up in Monaco, Tahayos, Mesim, and you'll remember because it's a chakras. We're going to go down here. The ending of Mechaya Mason for Shachar says, Baruch Atah Adonai Mechaya Mason. In contradistinction to Muslim, which is, Baruch Atah Adonai Mechaya Mason. But again, this is Shachar, so make sure not to do that one, but rather to do Mechaya Mason. And then Kedusha is just going to be the same as uh, Shabbos. Nechadeshem chavolom Keshem shema kishim azoi Bishmei moron hakosu Bayan nebiecho Nekoro zel zel yamar Kadosh, kadosh, kadosh Halenoi tzavoi Tzvoi horet zgivadoi Scratch that. Oh, it's, it's a lot. It can be a lot simpler than that. Oh, it's rash gado. Adir v'chazak mashmi mekol. Mings nasim u'maserofim. Yumasam baruch ha'imeru. Now, for Mimkomcha, you can do the standard. Um, but as I said, I like to uh, do something along the lines of the yantif. So something that works beautifully for Mimkomcha which is very popular, has become fairly popular recently, is the tune by Arm Rozelle of... Um, it is, uh, come on, the, the Pesach tune. Vihishamna, right? Uh, this uh, oh. tune, you might have heard it. Vihishamna, la voi sing, vihishamna, la voi sing, Wonderful, wonderful singer. You can get his stuff on YouTube, go to Jewish bookstores. Uh, again, the name is Arm Rizel. So uh, we'll, I'd like to use this tune. I'll sing it for you. Uh, and uh, I would certainly encourage you to, to use it because it's beautiful, melodious, and it fits just perfectly with the, the words. Amim koim kom aval keinu irad adam esoi fiya esim loyhaleinu imecha kibana hula haimosa. Did I 
And that will prime everybody to go into what you are now going to begin, which is going to be the Yant of Nisuf. The Yant Nisuf you've all been waiting for. Now again, Memkomcha, uh, that's my personal preference. You can certainly feel to try something else, uh, try something that you enjoy, try a different Yant of Nisuf. But that's just a personal favorite. And now I'm going to continue with Lidor Vador. Lidor Vador Nagiga, Lidor Vador Nagiga, Lidor Vador Nagiga Lepha, Lenin Sandin Sophim, Kadisha Sanaktish, Fishy Paha, Lahain of the Makush and Lavoyed, Kiamel of the Dog, Kalaisha, Tobaru Hatzwale Noy. And then you pause for Brook Brookman. Make sure to ignore the gray box. Even if you say about Togieno, you're not, it's going to be said in Marv, so there's not going to be any hazards or shots for it. Not something to worry about. Now, I'm going to do the uh, Nusuf with the Shabbos editions because it's a little bit more difficult. So if you know how to do the Shabbos edition, you can contract it a little bit and not include Shabbos. Uh, much easier to, uh, with Dominic, it's easier to, I find, to take out than to add in words that you weren't expecting. I think people will throw tomatoes. Time of Hartan, we didn't get back to that after Kadusha. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I totally did. All right, I totally forgot that. My apologies. Yes, you're right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm gonna it's confusing in the, in the article because it's, it's out <laughs> no, of place. Yeah. Absolutely. No, I, I totally forgot that. Um, you are correct. Um, Now, with the Hasienu, there's a karma tune that goes wonderfully well. 
and uh, I'd like to do it. I'll share it with you. It's a pretty easy nigga. Uh, you might have heard it the used it uh, for Kabbalah Shabbos, but over here you can use it as well. Something 
can I get a lot of those other units? And so on and so forth. So that is something that people sort of have etched into their memory. Right. If people aren't familiar with this whole uh, crowd off tune, like you can get away with it if you do the entire thing and you do it well. But if not, um, just bring in a tune that people don't know, aren't uh, familiar with in this context or something like that, which is really, you know, that the name is that sort of you know defines part of the end of experience, and uh, that's something that I would try to leave. I'm trying to think of uh, other good examples of this. Um, if we come across it, I'll I'll try to point it out. Um, okay. Yeah. Oh, you can do. You can certainly do that. Uh, that's something people are also accustomed to. Right? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Right. Right. Where was that? That was also that's before. It's in Musa for the earlier. Right. Right. You can certainly launch into that. Um, Uh, moving on to Ritze. Uh And now you're going to be continuing with the uh, Yom Tov, Rosh Hodesh, and so on and so on. Page 668. Now, I should mention over here, uh, as we mentioned before, it's really important to make sure that at least 10 people can hear when you're doing the modem. It's even more difficult to do it on Yantav because the Nosef is even less known than it is on Shabbos, so people have the tendency to try to throw it under the rug. But it's important that at least again ten people hear it. When you manach the law, shout to one another, hey, you have the same little bit, so more pain of me, she knows all the other door. No del, what is that great to yourself? How pay I'm to read that, how long you first say after this off? Fanny said, how should I call you before when you first have to search for the haze? Erba boy, Gerb, it's all right, not all, if you'll hold a hand, I'll because this is, is my own mistake and I was corrected. There are some, uh, there are some uh, sidurim that have a comma in, in this paragraph of Kinevar Velikavasenu after Batora. So we barchain about the Prophet which is Batora. Um, it's, it's, what it really is, is, and you know we pointed this out, you'll, you'll all chuckle when you hear this, is Rory Mamba. Um, I had made a mistake and he came over and said, you need to put a ha, ha that uh, you are, uh, the, the idea is it's a bracha ha right? It's a three part bracha, yivarechecha yaer gisa. It's in the Torah. He, he, he asked me, what is this the Torah ha mm-hmm. Right? The triple Torah. There's no triple Torah, it's the triple bracha. So uh, I just made that mistake and I'm pointing out that I made that mistake, so you won't make the mistake I just made. Mm-hmm. And let's do this again together, but we won't make the mistake that we're going yeah, uh, we should be back. So, uh, Baruch Hashem, 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 Baruch Hashem,
And then you'll see he writes in Rafi Vega, we do Panahashim to read Ali, and then we continue with Hala, which we did, I think, with the Rosh Chodesh portion of our Dabbing. So it's, uh, after Hala, is the Kaddish done in a different tune? Some people do a fancy tune certain times of the year. Yes, uh, so, yeah, right. Uh, some people do, um, like, a, uh, right. I personally do the, the regular okay. Shabbos uh, Kaddish song. I, mm-hmm. There is a Yantav tune that I'm, I'm not quite familiar with. Okay. Um, you know, it's interesting. I just, Rabbi Chin told me about an interesting audio archive. There are two of them. One by, what is it? Like some New England college that really doesn't need a Jewish music archive. Uh, I don't remember if it was Dartmouth or Brown or like, what? Mm-hmm. Really? But they have this amazing, amazing music, Jewish music archive. And there's also one in South Florida, FSU. Uh, so I, I'm, I can try and look and find if they have the Kaddish here okay. for uh, Yonza. But I, I personally just do. Uh, and also, some of that is from No, that's just a shame. Yeah, right, right. Okay. Um, yeah. But they do, uh, but what I certainly do is I try to uh, introduce a niggin for the uh, So if you'll see the typical Kaddish showing, can be found on page uh, 432. Um, and this is important actually because we're going to do Hotel Sefer Torah with Hashem Hashem Torah and Khan. So let's actually turn to page 430. Uh, and the, the Kaddish, uh, we've already gone through this multiple times, but there's a younger zone of stuff that's a little bit more of a major, whereas the more yeshiva oriented, yeshivish, this stuff. Is more of a minor. So the uh, the yeshivas is only yiskada vi yiskada shmei rabba vi ala madi rabbi yisrael vi ba'u sev kai kai mir tamei obey to joy el ba'yom bizman kori v'ruv amei. And the more major tune would be yiskada vi yiskada shmei rabba vi ala madi rabbi yisrael vi ba'u sev kai mir tamei obey to joy el ba'yom bizman kori v'ruv amei. And the more major tune would be yiskada as we say in Gemara language, Lamar could isolate, Lamar could isolate. To this master as he does it, to this master as he does it, whichever way you do it is fine. Uh, I would just mention, this God looks low zone, it's a great opportunity, it's a young davening, people are giving you the leeway. Do something happy, exciting, uh, you know, joyful. So, this God looks to low zone, oh, 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 the yo sign, never met all day, see, so, oh, 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 the mabu, I mean, give me I be a meru a min ye shlama rabba min shemaya ve kaim alenu ve alko Yisrael I be a meru a min hayomo se shalom ve merai rabu ya se shalom alenu ve alko Yisrael ve meru a min. I want to mention one other tune. Uh, if, if you don't know it, it's definitely worthwhile for you to become familiar with it. And even though it's during here now, there's a great a cappella version online. It's a Chabad Negan. And the way you find it is go onto YouTube and search for Chabad Capella. Chabad Capella. There's a really cute video done by a guy, Barry Weber, who's a Hasidic singer, has a beautiful voice. Uh, when it's not uh, Sphira, you can try it. I don't know what your mythic is with Sphira, not live music that's recorded, YouTube, no YouTube video, whatever. So I'm not getting into that whole halakha question. But you said it's acapella, right? Yeah, but yeah, so this one is acapella. So uh, but I was about to say, Barry Weber has some really great music that's instrumental. Oh, that yeah, so once you once you find this guy, Barry Weber, check out some of his other music. It's really, really beautiful. Uh, I think he's got a great voice and he's going to hopefully make a lot of great music uh, over the next years. So the tune goes like this, you've probably heard it, um, but if you had had it, check it out and, and try to use it, people love it. It goes like this. Yes. 
with Ribbono Shalom, but not on Shabbos. So if Yonta falls out on Shabbos, we don't say Hashem Hashem. And uh, as you may also know, there is a pretty marked difference between the way Hashem Hashem is done in a more young Israel type setting as opposed to a more yeshiva oriented type setting. Um, so let's do the young Israel because this is where we are and this is probably going to be the more common. So we begin with Ein Kamocha as we would any other Shabbos. Ein Kamocha Ben Ramadai Ben Kamasecha Aren't they the harmony to each other? 
you know, you could sing them both together and had beautiful harmony. Oh, is that right? It, to me, it seems to me that the upper is really the harmony to the lower. And if the congregation's doing the lower and you're doing the upper, then, it, then it's like a choir. Interesting. You know, I never, uh, I never really consider that. We can try it together afterwards. <laughs> that's, that's a great idea. Good, okay. Friends, you heard it here. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, the Stuart Rosenthal uh, the, uh, method of Hashem Hashem. We're going to trademark it. And uh, we're going to uh, do a recording right. per usage, 99 cents on the App Store. Okay. Uh, and then we go on with uh, Rebona Shalom and so on. Uh, although, one more thing we should be aware of uh, is Ba'ani Sfilasi. Ba'ani Sfilasi, Vishra Rabino, Yeh Shratzon, Vohim, Kirok Hazdecha, Ani Ni Benes Shefa, Ba'ani Sfilasi, and then finally, One final note for chakras is on on uh, not simple Torah, but on Shmini Atzeris. Not on Shmini Atzeris, on Hoshana Rabba. Um, the, the tune, right? The tune for Shema Yisrael, I believe, is done, yes, um, along the lines of the um, Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur tune. Okay, so uh, again, this is not Shmini Atzeris or Simchas Torah, this is the day before Hoshana Rabbah, which is you know the final day of Cholamoid Sukkot. Uh, it's distinguished because we do the entire davening of Hoshana Rabbah. We go around the bima seven times. We smack the Yairava and so on and so forth. But there are elements of Hoshana Rabbah davening that are associated with Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, the Chazim Berzik Kittel, so on and so forth. Um, and if you happen to be davening for the Yomid on Hoshana Rabbah, since this is a, after all Yom class, you want to make sure to do the Shema Yisrael of Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur. So the normal Yom Tov Shema Yisrael is Shema Yisrael, 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 Shema Shema The Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur knows the coast as follows. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Echad Eloheinu, Godo Adonai Kadosh Vinura Shema, Gadalu Adonai, Hune Ramen La Shmo With that, um, Would yes. you mind just going ahead and doing the Musaf? It doesn't take much, right? It's Kaya okay. Day and, and the Amida, and that's about it. Yeah, so, okay. So, uh, sure. I, I is everybody okay with me? Kaya Day. Kaya Day. No, Kaya Day. Yeah, Kaya Day. Okay. Right. And we also have the Duff Day. Yes. Okay. okay. It's really I, take, I said that. It takes about another 15, 20 yeah. minutes. Like if, if repetition of the Amida. Is that all right? Yeah. If you have to go, you can go. I wouldn't have on tape because I don't know if we're going to get another class time. Okay, right? fair enough. Great. So uh, first, Kakei Lee, um, th there's a, 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 um, an interesting algorithm for when we do and don't say Kakei Lee. So rather than go through all the details of the algorithm, just make sure to check your, your Nusaf or your Luach to see whether or not uh, we're gonna, you're going to be saying Kakei Lee because uh, there are quite a number of times in which it is not said. Um, but we Thank are you going answer. to get short tickets. It's, um, we don't say it on Shabbos, I think we don't say it Yiskor, but there, there are, I believe there are other variables as well. Um, just, I mean, it's, uh, it's interesting, like I was surprised at how often we don't wind up saying it. Um, let's see, where can I find Kakei? The, I don't see, where is it? I don't know, in the back. In the back? Okay, uh, page 672. Okay, so the, the most common, I'll sing the most common, commonly known uh, Kake Lee, um, and then maybe I'll also do another one that's uh, a little bit more modern and uh, that, I, that I enjoy a lot. But the most common one is 
Now, uh, what I typically do here, which is easier than the Shabbos Nusach, because you would typically go back into the Shabbos Nusach, so instead what I do is the Shabbos tune. Although you could also do the Shabbos tune, which would be. Now, what I do 
When they're finished, you uh, continue and you uh, say the Sarah. <laughs> Uh, I believe we've addressed Birchas Kohanim, although I just addressed it previously. Uh, I'm going to address it again, um, uh, even so. Um, if there is, it's interesting, if there is no Kohen, if there's no Kohanim, if there's just one Kohen, typically Kilos won't say Kohanim, although sometimes they will. Uh, so, if there's only one Kohen, I generally don't say Kohanim, um, unless I hear that he's not starting, and that nobody else is saying Kohanim, and in which case, I'll say Kohanim. Uh, if there's more than one Kohen, I'll still uh, wait for a moment to hear if somebody in the seaboard is going to say Kohanim, and if not, I'll just make that a pregnant pause and I myself will say Kohanim. And then they will say the bracha, and I'll do the uh, and then they, uh, they will say, you know, Yibarach Hashem, depending on whether it's Shabbos or not, they'll give time for Rebona Shalom. Something very important to remember is, uh, after they say Yishmarecha, you're going to be primed to continue with Yair. But you need to wait because the Tzibar has to answer a main. It's a very common mistake, right? They say, Yishmarecha, wait. The answer me. Yair, I don't know. I pawn of a lecha, the huneka, ye saw. I don't know. I pawn of a lecha, the same lecha, shalom. And then you continue with Sim Shalom as you did for Shaka. Sim Shalom, Tabarah, Hakim, Hesarahim, Alema, Israel, Mecha, and so on and so forth. Thank you. And with that, I, uh, I think you have all dying. You are prepared to make millions as a Shvet <laughs> Seaboard internationally. Thank you, Rabbi. My pleasure, absolutely. Thank you.